Hello, Kitty Cat Two Eight Meow and Clara here. Today's lesson is to how to form geometry. A big shout out to Double Clarinet and Callie's Clarinet channel for giving me the idea to do this video. You, Double Clarinet. Double Clarinet and Lady McLaughlin, you should check out my YouTube channel and my clarinet videos. On with the lesson. Form the embouchure, how to shape the mouth on the mouthpiece. I told you about that in our in the first lesson, how to assemble the clarinet. You might hear some birds chirping in the background. The bird I just heard is an American robin. Like, find our posture. You can just see my bust right now. Let you guys sit up straight, feet straight out in front of you. And how to form the embouchure. Save the letter M. Then you should say, ooh. Put the clarinet in your mouth. The bottom lip should be rolled just um, um, to the bottom frontal and, and lateral incisors and canines. I'm talking about. And when you're playing, you should see creases on each side of your lip. I have the right armature if you see, see my creases on my lips. A second part of the embouchure is what's known as tonguing. You should start by your tongue. It should be ta, not ha. Because you should always start notes with your tongue because that gives you a better airflow through the instrument. And it like helps you articulate the notes. For example, I can play staccato, staccato like this. It's very important if you're playing a wind instrument, like the clarinet. Katie Cat Tweet Meow, the clarinetist, signing off.